Ryan, thanks for joining us. Um, big win on uh, Sunday. Happy with that performance? Yeah, I thought the guys played well. Um, you know, we've been pretty close in the last couple of games with that team. Um, you know, I thought uh, all, all three games could have gone either way. Um, we got some timely scoring, some great goaltending, uh, you know, and, and found a way to, to win in a shootout. Uh, we've been a pretty good shootout team all, all season and, um, you know, it took, uh, I think it took seven rounds to, to get that point. And, yeah, confidence is, is high. Uh, we've been feeling good here for, for a while now, and we just want to take that into uh, to tomorrow. Um, they scored three on the power play um, on Sunday, but we've, we've looked in control when the game's been five on five. Is it key against Sheffield tomorrow night to stay out the box? Yeah, I think so. Um, we've done a real good job uh, keeping discipline over this uh, the last three games with them. They haven't had a lot of looks. They're, they got a great power play. Um, yeah, they got they got three some some broken plays and you know some you know Dowdy's last one was a pretty good shot. He, you know, they, um, but yeah, nothing nothing overly concerned about. We're going to make some adjustments. Um, you know, in the small rink to the big rink's a, a lot different anyway, so you're always looking to to adjust your your PK. But you know, um, we gotta we gotta stay five on five or better against a team like that, and, and the guys know that, and we got to make sure that we're we're dialed in and disciplined for uh, for tomorrow. So in th this is the fourth and, and final of the, the mini series, if you will, against Sheffield. In the previous three games, we've we've matched up quite well with with Sheffield. Is it fair to say that maybe we've been guilty of not taking our chances when it comes to finishing? Would you say that's been maybe the difference? Yeah, I think execution. You know, I think we've had some looks. Um, you know, I think when you're looking at the, at the game, it was a, a two-one, then a two-nothing with an empty net, and, and then last game was a, a shootout. So they've been low low scoring affairs. So when you get good looks, you got to bear down, and you know they. Both teams have had good goaltending uh, in, in the three-game set, and I, I'd imagine that'll be the same for, for tomorrow. So yeah, when you do, when we get opportunities, you need guys to bear down, and we need to capitalize on, on the chances you do get. So is it a case of focusing on our game and letting results flow? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do outside of outside of uh, these four walls. So we just kind of focus on uh, climbing the climbing the ladder and, and, and taking points where we can, and and just seeing where. So turning the attention in towards the weekend, it's uh, Glasgow away on Saturday night, followed by Cardiff back in the shelter on Sunday. And um, you've already said there that confidence in the room is is high um, at the moment. Those games present us with an opportunity to to catch up with Guildford and, and potentially Glasgow too. What's the message to the team going into this round of fixtures? It's been the same. We you know we want the same intensity no matter who we're playing. Um, you know we're going into a building we haven't had success in this year in, in Glasgow. Uh, we 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 played some good minutes in there, and they're they're a team that's not far off what what we're doing. They're 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 trying to solidify a position. They're going to be well rested. They they've had the week off, and you know so it's not going to be an easy um, an easy run on on Saturday. Uh, and then Sunday we get to come back home hopefully to a, to a big crowd here uh, against Cardiff and uh, yet another team that we've had great battles with in in the shelter and. You know, the a team that's going to be wanting to, to position themselves and make sure they're feeling good about their game uh, going into playoffs. So it's, it's two, uh, two tough opponents. Um, you know, this time of the year, there are, there are no easy games anymore. Every, everybody's fighting for something. So it's exciting, um, you know, but we just kind of want to focus on, on that first game and, and get that out of the way, and then we can get down there for the weekend. And Zach Sullivan's been back on the ice this week in practice, and um, it's been great to see him back out there. What's the latest on Sully, and is there also an update on Finley Ulrich? Yeah, Sully, we're you know we're we're probably week to week now. Um, been doing a lot of rehab with him, and obviously he's he's anxious. We're anxious to have him back out there. Um, you know, so we're we don't have a time, uh, a, a game or a day set for him to come back. We're we're hopeful we'll we'll get to see him again this year. Um, and then Finley, Finley is is very unlikely that we'll we'll see him again. He's uh, sustained a, a shoulder injury that um, we're doing a deeper dive in with uh, with the medics at Spire and, and and just seeing where where that lands if, if there needs to be any further treatment surgery or whatnot. So we're uh, we're hopeful that uh, we can avoid going under, but um, you know so we're we're just kind of in the rehab uh, stage and, and again continuing to. Uh, so get get second and third opinions on it. You know he's a he's a big asset for us down the road, and we want to just make sure that we're we're doing the best thing for him. So we're, we're now kind of on our third opinion of just what to do with with this injury that he has, and it's never um, it's never fun, especially a kid at that age and was playing so well for us. But the big thing for us now is get him uh, get him healed, um, do what we got to do to make sure that he's in the best position for next season.
So, yeah, I mean, you touched on that. Finn had kind of found himself in, in a role further up the lineup that he'd just got into, just settling into, and then he's sustained an injury, which is obviously a, a massive shame for, for him and the club. But that has presented an opportunity for Harry Gulliver to step in. And uh, a, a word on Harry's performances over the past couple of weeks. He's been awesome. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's been great. He's been kind of waiting for that that role uh, all year. Um, and I think it's kind of gone under the, under the radar just how, you know, what we've done here with these young kids, we, we you know we set it out 18 months ago when we signed them all that this was this was our plan to, to build and you know these guys now have, you know are, are playing great minutes. Finns was playing great minutes top nine. Harry's playing in a top nine spot. Uh, Hazel Dines now you know he's getting over you know, close to 20 20 plus minutes a game. Um, you know and I think uh, I think we're we're definitely building the youth here. Obviously we got we got other guys and Jake and Ben Solder and. You know, guys that are still kind of developing with us along the way. So I think it, it's kind of what we have to do. I think we're taking maybe a road less traveled as far as taking the time to, to develop. And you know, but I think you know, in the, in the coming seasons, we're going to end up with with guys on you know British guys on our team that are that are playing in our top six, not our top nine, and our top three on D and and uh, contributing. And I think. You know, at some point we had to do that. You know, you can only invest in so little, few Brits out there um, right now that we could have brought in. That you know, and and the majority of them are on the wrong side of 30 or closing in on 30, and, and that's just a reality. Is that you have to start looking to the future. And you know, I think we've kind of got probably arguably three of the best right there. Um, we are actively looking to to recruit more. Um, we've identified a couple more that we'd like to get on our books for for the next three seasons as well. So, it's been. Um, it's been a you know a little bit of growing pains and, and whatnot, but at the same time, I think you know whatever the outcome of this season is, we're going to start next year with a, a potentially a different look um, and, and a lot more confidence in, in our young guys as far as where they are in the lineup, and that that does allow us to recruit a little different and, and hopefully for a, a stronger future. And um, finally, um, any messages for the fans ahead of? The, the, the run in now. Yeah, I mean, I just think you know we want to we want to play in front of that sellout crowd. There's there's not a belt there's not a building that can that can generate the atmosphere like this. You know, it may not be the the Sheffields or Belfast, but when you pack it with you know over two thousand people, it's pretty intimidating and loud, and it's uh, it's a much different environment that than can be created anywhere else. So yeah, it's you know I think the guys have uh, you know I think we we've, we've shown we've got that never say die attitude where you know we've been up against it trying to claw our way back into this uh into this playoff race against arguably you know one of the toughest opponents you can have you know for for four straight games so you know hopefully we we um we can have a great, another good night tomorrow um and again getting get back from scotland here with, with in, in a good position to to really push on and, and take it to that last weekend with guildford thanks for your time good luck this weekend thanks